Good evening. It's great to have you with us to start another week. And as we come on the air here in the West tonight, that horror playing out in Washington for so many on their way to work today. When the train they were on began leaning, buckling, and then veering off the tracks in Washington State, it's believed there are several dead. This was the first time they were trying out the train on this route. 13 cars derailing just after a curve of the tracks, several of them falling on Interstate 5 below, triggering a scramble to get everyone out. Passengers stumbling from the wreckage, many injured and trapped, and authorities revealing what they've learned not long ago. ABC's Clayton Sandell is on the scene in DuPont, Washington tonight. This is oh crazy. my God. What was supposed to be a celebration, the first run of newer, faster train service, tonight is a tragedy of twisted metal with multiple passengers dead. Oh my God, that train is derailed. Train derailment over the freeway, multiple patients. Amtrak train 501 left Seattle just after 6 a.m. heading toward Portland. 86 passengers and crew on board. At 7.30, passenger Chris Carnes tweeting, Wow, this train is fast. We are passing traffic on I-5. Minutes later, at 7.33 a.m., a locomotive and 12 cars careen off both sides of the overpass, down onto busy Interstate 5, crushing vehicles below. Amtrak 501, emergency, emergency. We are on the ground. The conductor radioing for help. Hey guys, what happened? Uh, we were coming around the corner to take the bridge over I-5 there, uh, right north into Squally, and we went on the ground. Is everybody okay? I'm still figuring that out. We got cars everywhere and down onto the highway. As soon as I know exactly where all my train is, I'll let you know. Drivers on the interstate below were injured as the train came crashing down, but none killed. Dan Konzelman jumped out of his car in snarled traffic and onto the train to help. We uh, climbed underneath the train as best we could, and there was people like with half their bodies pinned who couldn't move. They were in a lot of pain. A lot of them were screaming and moaning, um, but there's nothing we could do to help them really. Um, so we just stayed with them. They're requesting all possible units with bodies on the freeway. When we got to the scene, it was obvious that there were some fatalities and there were a lot of injuries. Chris Carnes, who had been tweeting earlier, survived. The train started to wobble for, for a moment, and then we were catapulted at the seats in front of us. And at the next thing that we knew, our car had crumpled. When I stepped out, I didn't really realize I was standing on another train car. The passengers were the first paying customers on a new route for Amtrak's Cascade service. What is not clear yet is why the train derailed or how fast it was going. A National Transportation Safety Board team is headed to the crash scene. And Clayton Sandell with us live tonight from Washington. And Clayton, as you just reported there a moment ago, this was a brand new route using these tracks for passengers for the first time. Officials had expressed concern about it before they launched it. That's right, David. Long before today's derailment, there was a local mayor here who expressed safety concerns over high-speed trains moving through this area. He felt that a fatal accident was inevitable. Now, state police officials tell us they have finished searching the train cars here, and the official death toll stands at three, though they say there are several injured people still in critical condition. David. Clayton Sandell leading us off tonight. Clayton, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.